Today, Governor Mike Parson announced some new guidance for close contacts in K-12 schools. ABC 17's Zola Crowder is live in Jefferson City after attending the briefing this morning. Zola, proper mask wearing can now prevent someone from being a close contact if the school has a mask mandate. Yes, Deb, that's right. Parson made the announcement right here at the state capitol this morning, but he did mention if a school does not have a mask mandate or if you're not wearing your mask properly, you'll still have to quarantine for those 14 days. This new guidance applies if a district or charter school has a mask mandate in place and all individuals are wearing their mask correctly during the time of exposure. Several state experts joined Governor Parson to announce the new guidance. They explained why if masks are being worn properly, students and staff do not need to quarantine if they're a close contact. The school environment has not contributed substantially to the spread of the novel coronavirus in the same way that it does for other respiratory viruses like influenza. We've also learned that young children um, seem to transmit this infection less often than, let's say, adolescents and adults. The reason for the change is due to the large number of students and school staff members quarantined in recent weeks, which has caused a strain for educators, school leaders, and Missouri families. We've learned that masks also protect the wearer from acquiring the virus. And we know that when both parties are wearing the mask, that substantially reduces the risk of infection. Parson explained the importance of wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands to all Missourians. We've got to do our part to protect one another. No government's going to do that for you. You have to take that upon yourself. You have to take that responsibility to help one another. Coming up at 6, you'll hear the, from the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, and I'll tell you what they think about these changes. Reporting live in Jefferson City, I'm Zola Crowder, ABC 17 News. Zola, thank you. Several other states have already enacted some similar guidance, including Iowa, Nebraska, and Wyoming. And we spoke with local school districts about these new state guidelines. Columbia Public's Superintendent